Love you. What? What did you just say? Don't ever say that again. Oh my gosh. Hey everyone. I haven't been on here in a minute. You always so polite. Now back with the jump off. Really? He don't like that I'm lit. Yo, son. He don't like that I'm it's lit. It's too early for It's not. It's not too early. It's just the right time. Take me to Del Taco. Oh, gosh. Look at this. They hate be real in these streets. That's it be all so real do. in these streets. That's and it be right up under here. See this? See that? Right up under here, they hate. Hi, Mr. Douglas. See guys, this is this is a great example of continue being the great person that you are despite all the naysayers. You see this? You just go live just to use me as your, as no. your prop? No, you right here. You right here, so as my prop. No, you don't even talk like that when you're out on live. I don't talk like this. I don't. I just feel like you. So, how's everyone morning? I know it's earlier on the um, on the East Coast. What time is it now, babe? Eight o'clock over here. We just finished dropping off um, Janai. And what he said to us? I'm out of I'm out of My son said I'm out of 5G. Whoa! I told him never to say that again. I don't know where he get that from. Hey, Keisha. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Penny said good morning. See how he said good morning? So rude, right? It's the love. So I got up here. Um, something just happened at our kid's school. I didn't see it. My husband did. And um, I don't know, I've been, I've been led to, to want to get on live for a minute anyway, but I've been really, really busy. Um, I started homeschooling again, Lord, <laughs> but um, it's not as many as before. Before I, I, I homeschooled like six, now it's only two homeschooled, so my, um, my day, you know, it's not going to be as crazy but it's still a busy day. So, um, hi, Auntie. Auntie said hi. It's good. Oh, hey. So, we just finished dropping off um, Janai, but on the way dropping off the younger kids, um, there were these two kids, like, fighting, and my husband said they appeared to be siblings because one of them was, was younger than the other, but there was a crossing guard, um, there nearby and he was like what did you say that she was hitting her real hard in the face and it was making noise yeah like I turned my head cause she was cause she was hitting her so hard that I heard it I turned my head and she just hit her all on her face the bigger one the little one was hitting the bigger one right so I guess he was like he was in awe cause there was an adult there and then someone that's like part of the school, right, especially people there, the crossing, especially the crossing guard, and no one stopped it, you know? And so, um, when he told me, I was disgusted, and I was like, I felt uncomfortable, because I'm like, dang, you know, but he stopped it, he, you know, he was, he was like, yo, yo, and when they looked, he shook his head, no. You know, and um, it reminded me of a time when, um, and this is not a fighting situation, but, you know, I was in Walmart and this little boy was wilding out. And, you know, in Walmart, it's a lot of people. But, you know, the little boy was just wilding out and the mother's trying to purchase her things. And she had like an infant in her hand and then she had like two other children besides him. 
and um, he ran away and like he hid and he was next to me and I looked at him and I said you know you're not supposed to do that right and he was like why I said because you know how to behave you know that's not good you need to listen to mommy you know and he got up he was calm and he walked back to his mother and then he didn't wild out anymore and I brought I brought those two things up because I want to say that you know if you're nearby and you're nearby a child just because it's not your child doesn't mean you shouldn't say anything bring back that bring back that them old values man you know bring back them old school values and I say that because that could be your child you know what I mean that could be your child and you would want somebody to say something to them to get them nah, straight I no I all right I I'm gonna speak to me my husband said y'all don't but I do I wouldn't want somebody to be like, yo, you was raised better than that. I remember when I was in Virginia, it was this boy. I think he was in either middle school or he has to be like a freshman in high school. And he was waiting for, um, at the bus stop to pick up his sibling. And um, he was with another person. He was like with a friend or something. And I seen him a couple of times. But, you know, this time he was having a conversation. This is the first time he brought his friend. And when I mean his conversation didn't lack a cuss word, not one time, he was going ham. And then it was an elder, so someone older than I was there, an elder man. He was just going in, going in, and I was... He would have got smacked. Right. So I'm just scoping, and I'm like, man, this boy ain't got no respect at all. He has no respect for himself, granted, but then he don't have no respect for a woman standing there and for an elder standing there and it just bothered me and like oh my god I was enraged and I just had to say something I was like young man let me ask you a question young please man. not young men I said young man young sir <laughs> I didn't say young sir I said young man well, and I came with him with respect come all the way out with that son I'm good yeah. look at him but yeah he didn't want to be in it right Anyway, I was like, young man, even though I was angry, I chose to say something, you know, uh, address him nicely. Good morning, Sticks. Yeah. Um, and I asked him, I said, can I ask you a question? Do you speak like that in front of your mother? And he was like, he, he looked at me, rolled his eyes, and, and, I, and, you know, he just stared at me. And I stared back, and I was like, I, I asked if you talk like that in front of your mom. And he was like, no. I said, okay, I understand, you know, I understand you talk like that, you know what I mean? But um, you're in front of a lady and you're in front of an of a elder man. Can you show respect and show me how well your mother brought you up? You know what I mean? Like, you're a reflection of your mother. We're not saying these things to these kids. We're just letting them do whatever they want and then say, they ain't, they not minds. They not minds. Well, look at his parents. But look at you. Look at you. At this time, God allowed you to be, you know, that, that very person, that person to say something to a child so they can be corrected. Don't leave it only for the parents. Don't leave it only for the... You don't know what situation they're in. And your stop or you're better than that or you're a king, rise up. Yeah. That You can be that very person or the only person that had that word for them to say it and for them to act straight. Like, man, somebody... Hey, congratulations, boy! My man's very boy, Mikey! So. <laughs> congratulations! I'm proud of you. I know I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. Anyway, but I'm happy for you, man. Congratulations, Mikey. <laughs> but you're not. It just really, it just really hurt my heart. And I just want to, you know, remind people that, you know, yo, I got a man. It's a sermon I got. I don't want to say it though, but I'm gonna do it one day. But you know, look at others like it's you. You know, speak to others like it's you. Don't allow, you know, it, things... Because it is the younger you. Right. Don't allow... Whether it's a girl, right. whether it's, it's a the younger girl, you. I love it. Whether it's a boy, doesn't matter. It's the younger you. It's you. I think we need to, to get back. And, and, and don't be fearful. You know what I mean? God didn't give us the spirit of fear. Don't be fearful. Say what it is you need to say, but, but do say it, you know, 
in the um, Bible says a kind word turns away wrath, but right. a, a fierce answer stirs up strife. So, right. You gotta say it in the most kind way possible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Say it I nicely. Mean, like, excuse me, you know, king. You're a king. Do you know that? You know, start saying it like hey, that. I mean, you don't bro, have to hey, say it like, sis. yeah. yeah you know what I mean? But let them know that they can be they can be better than that. That they are better than that. You know, that's it's better ways to do you, things. If you would have correct me on some craziness when I was young, I would have flipped on you. But if you would have been extra kind, it would have been nothing I could do. I'd be like, all right, man, my bad. Yeah, right, we gotta be kind, but but don't let, don't let, yo, this it, is the word. It's a sin to know the truth and not say it, right? Mm. It's a sin to know the truth and not say it. If you know that a child is acting up, although it's not yours, please feel the need to say something. You know, that's 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 the least we can do. You know, sometimes we want to do something major and big, but it's something that small that can change the world. That. Believe that something that small can change the world. You can change the, uh, a child's perspective. You can make them believe that they can do something. They can be something just simply by telling them, "Hey, that's not right." You know, that's not right. Did, did your mother? You, do your mother know that you do that? Is that okay? You know what I mean? Just pose questions. You know, if you don't want to say, "Don't do that," but ask them questions because when you ask them a question. They'll start thinking about, you know, their actions and dang, I'm being looked. You know what I you know what I um tell people? And it and it shows me because um it happens with my kids too. Look, he has to do it his way. Go ahead, mercy. Um no one we have to allow our kids and, and show our kids to be God conscious. And I say that because although we're not here, and we tell this to our kids all the time, even though I'm not around, God sees you. He's always around. God sees you. And guess what? Because he sees you and because he knows what we invested in you, he, we invested him in you. So he's going to be in you. So what happens is the thing that you think you're going to get away with is going to be revealed. Someone is going to be around. Someone's going to say something. You know what I mean? And we're going to find out regardless if you think that it's going to, you know, not be seen or revealed. It's going to be revealed. So we need to start telling our kids, you know, let our kids know that God exists. He's everywhere at one time, you know, and start putting back the fear in God again in that way. But fear as if reverencing God. Not, oh my God, you know, that's not what I mean. People take that and run with it. Oh, so we supposed to be scared? Well, I thought he said he didn't give us a spirit of fear. That's not what I mean. I mean, we ought to reverence him. We ought to give him, you know, um, respect and honor. That's what we should do. You know, hey, hey, Hector. Hey, Miss Jackson. But, um, Sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> we should, um, you know, we need to invest I'm that in our you. kids. I'm doing it. Exactly. We need to invest that back in our children, that God exists. He sees us. No matter if daddy and mommy is not there, he sees us. Yes. I'm just, I'm just, um, I know she said she just tuned in. What I was addressing this morning was um, court, in, court saw um, two siblings fighting, and there was an authority there um, attached to the school, and um, they didn't break it up, and he broke it up, you know? So it just... It just made me feel a way, you know, that there's no covering for our children. You know what I mean? Like, it's up to us, pretty much, to, um, hey, Jason, hey, Thea, hey, Malika. It's up to us to, you know, break up those fights, tell the children, even if they're not ours, that they're great, that you're better than that. I know your mother wouldn't like that, you know, you know, and, and speak to them with all sincerity, you know what I mean? And, and kindness. Right. And kindness and compassion, you know, love, you know, the children because maybe not they're like, they're lacking that at home. Yeah, not like you shouldn't be doing that, and you know what I mean, like yeah, that's pointing why, fingers. That's why people used to disrespect older people back in the days because they always thought that they could they could tell younger people what to do, and that's why the generation is like that now. You know, you still gotta you still gotta come with respect. Everybody got come with respect. Right, Older because how can they how can they know respect or learn respect if you're not giving them respect? You know, children, they have they have you know, people don't treat children are people too. Right. I <laughs> wanted to say that, but it was like it's so cliche. But it's true. 
children are people too, you know what I mean? And we ought to look at them as a reflection of us. Speak to them as if we're speaking to ourselves, you know? Install and, and plant in them the very thing you know that will, will grow you, you know what I mean? And say it in a nice way, you know? Again, as I mentioned, that's, you know, that small thing can change the world. That very small thing, telling the person, you know, you're better than that. You know, you don't have to do that. You don't have to speak that way. You know, why are you fighting? Look at you. You know what I mean? Like, that's your sister. Whether they're not sisters or not, you know what I mean? Like, we need we need to instill these things in the children, even if they're not ours. You know what I mean? We need to do it um, to them, too. All the more, you know what I mean? All the more. Because it's so funny. I feel like other people's children at times may listen to you better than your own children do sometimes. You know what I mean? So even if it's not your child, I think it's on his own home. home. Right. So even if it's not your children, you know, they're, they're God's children. You know what I mean? So, and that's how you should look at your children as God's children anyway. So, um, I just wanted to share that this morning. I pray that you guys have a beautiful, beautiful, blessed and prosperous day. And, um, I love you guys. That's all I wanted to say this morning. So, what I wanted to say is go cop my album. Oh my gosh, she ain't got no album. Come out yet. July 16th. Nah, <laughs> the streets, <laughs> the streets couldn't wait. <laughs> he is so frightened right now. I'm it. I'm it. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Storm Family YouTube. Subscribe to Storm's Enlightenment channel. It's a lot of Jews up there. I'm going to start um, teaching Hebrew and all that stuff. I'm going to start doing a whole lot of stuff. But subscribe to Storm's Enlightenment channel. It just takes a sec to be inspired. And um, the Storm Family channel. And Rudy's World. Too. Right. And kicking it with Ivy. And kicking it with Ivy. I wanted to share something. And y'all tell me. I know many of you gotten off the live. But y'all can come back on. And because I'm going to, you know, um, share it. But You was done, babe. No, no. Because I... Oh, please. Anyway... <laughs> I want to know, um, I just bought the Action Bible again. We, um, we bought it again, and I wanted to read it and then um, just show, you know, the conversations I have with my children when um, they're read the word or when they're reading it and the questions that come up and the answers that are given. I wanted to do that, so I wanted to know if y'all would like to see something like that. Also, um, I started homeschooling again um two of our children and i wanted to also do a video on how we do that as well so um if you're interested let me know and if you have any questions so that i can do the video based on the questions and stuff like that you know go ahead and um either inbox me the questions or write it under this video or write it under this video yeah i just want to chill up here what uh, yeah you want to chill yeah. about to have some breakfast what? Alright, y'all peace. Shalom, shalom.